working on a 2008 Jeep Liberty with the 3.7 liter V6 trying to chase down a misfire issue uh, working on a um, leak down test just bought a kit off of Amazon and got the valve cover removed just to make sure that we're at uh, top dead center top dead center cylinder one uh, is supposed to be marks on the crank but I did not see anything on the crank itself on the let me see if I can show you. So right there, right above the crank, you can see a TDC and a mark. And then, well, you can kind of see a, a line on the crankshaft from this view right here. So it looks like I'm pretty close. You can see that without the camera being there. Well, I was trying to get you a shot from the top, but... I just can't get it into a real good spot to where we can see that itty bitty tiny tick mark on top of the crank. The camera won't focus on it, but you can barely see it uh, just by looking. Nah, not from this camera, you can't. But what we're looking for is to make sure that both of the valves are closed up here on cylinder one. So you can see that the lo cam lobe is off on the intake side and it's off on the exhaust side which means that uh, this one is oops, not pressurized the other one's not pressurized so the valve should both be closed and not open so we can also let's see get a uh, this is just a telescoping magnet with the magnet missing so you can get down there and you can tell that it's a top dead center as opposed to a different valve next to it that'll uh, let's see which one Oops, sorry, I'm missing it. Yeah, like six goes way down there, right? So you can tell the difference. And if you look down there, well, um, you can see the top of it. It's got a lot of carbon on it. So this leak down tester, uh, it's just got to thread it in with different size fittings that come with it for different vehicles. And we'll just screw it in to the cylinder hole. Until it's good and snug right there and I've got my shop air six or fixed to right about 60 psi on the outbound on my cobalt tank when we get this connected we're going to want to connect the air and then listen in various places to see where we might hear air coming out of so out of the throttle body out of the oil dipstick tube out of the oil filler neck uh, the radiator overflow reservoir Back at the exhaust in the back of the engine, out of here, out of the valves in here, so that it'll identify where we may have a problem. So to set this one up, it says to adjust this needle to set to zero. So we want to make a slight adjustment on the gauge, and this is prior to connecting it to there. So we're going to set the gauge. It's a little finicky. Get it set to zero. And then we want to connect our adapter piece. All right, so our readings, the PSI is showing about 25. Um, I've got, I think, 25 feet of hose. Uh, so I moved my compressor up to about 80 pounds of pressure. We're so showing 25, but then our percent loss right here, we're almost at 15% loss of air coming through. So. When I'm listening to everything coming through here, I hear no air coming out of anything except here. You can hear it gurgling. See if you can listen. Don't know if that comes through or not, but I put my ear directly on here. You can hear it bubbling, so we've got a head gasket leaking here somewhere. Uh, this is a sheet. I did my compression test before I'm doing this, and I'm just going to drag that information down to my leak test. So i got a 14% uh, variance in my uh, com uh, compression on that one and then the location that it's leaking from is the radiator. So I'm going to do that to all the cylinders and see which ones I have problems with. And if i got to do just one bank of a cylinder head replacement or two banks. So a couple last things. Uh, one thing, you know, if you got a piece of hose 
that you can use to try to put in your ear and listen to different areas uh, that might help get a little closer to listening for leaks. The other part of this is use the firing order. And this one is 165432 so that when you go down to turn the crank, I'll just show you that, um, the very next top dead center will be cylinder six back here in the back left. And then uh, you'll know that the very next upstroke on that one is a compression stroke, so you're already set. So you don't have to go back through and recheck everything every time. Just turn it until that one's up at top dead center. So I'll use my little extensions right here, pop it down in there, and I'll just watch for that thing to rise, and I'll um, make sure it's a top dead center, and then I'll go through and do the leak test on that one again and report all of my results. So I'm not going to videotape the rest of that. I hope it helps you out, but that's clearly what's causing our misfire condition with this car.